Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to start uh, another series of videos regarding Pro Tools in which we demonstrate and show you the different rulers included in Pro Tools. Okay, rulers um, are very important uh, for organization purposes, especially when you're um, mixing. And uh, they can be found, uh, or you can see them, from your edit window, which is the window where we're currently at. As you might know, the edit window has a timeline that lets you know where you are as far as the song. You know, uh, stuff that happens to the left of the timeline happened first, and then the stuff that happens or the events that happen towards the right of the timeline happen after, because it's a linear timeline. So today we're gonna talk about the first uh, ruler, which is the time ruler. So by default, uh, you have here on your ruler, um, you have a time ruler that shows you, as you can see here, some minutes and seconds. So um, if I go from the left to the right, that minutes and seconds ruler uh, increments. So for example, here at the end, we are about 52, zero minutes and 52 seconds around there. Then at some point in the middle of um, what we have here recorded, it's zero minutes and 28 seconds. So that's the default um, is time ruler that you have. Now, you can add other time rulers, and in general, all the rulers are, if you're here in your edit window, uh, you go to the left side of the window, you can see here, uh, there's a little drop down, um, there's an arrow there, that, that little black arrow, if you click there, you can see here the, the different, um, rulers right so you have the minutes and seconds which is the the default if you want to call it that way that you can actually click and hide it as you can see it's hidden now we only see um bars and beats but if we click there that's our regular um minutes and seconds time ruler now you also have time code okay you have a time code ruler that you can enable and that'll show you time code okay so if you're working with video, if you're doing like sound for picture, Foley, FX, you know, music for movies and things like that, chances are you're going to be working with time code. So you can enable that from there. Now you also have a secondary time code ruler, which is labeled as time code 2, that you can simply click there, and then you'll see that secondary time code ruler there. So those three... As you can see, you have the minutes and seconds, you have the time code, and then the time code one. Those are your time rulers in Pro Tools. As I said, you can simply go here on the left, top left, and then click to check or uncheck them in order to um, show or hide those rulers. By default, I typically work in this mode, so I see my bars and beats as well as my minutes and seconds. I believe that the minutes and seconds, it's probably one of the most important time rulers because it lets you know how far into the song you are and how long the song is. Uh, if you're doing music for like radio and stuff like that, you might you might want to make sure that you're within the radio limits of playback. You know, sometimes songs are just, you know, too long and they won't be playing them on the radio. So um, it is useful to know where you are in case that you need to make any kind of edit. So those are the time rulers in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.